This is from TJW. When writing a TV spec, how far in the future should you know your story? Multiple seasons? Yeah, I would say so. I'd say you should know what the end of it's going to be. You really should. Um, what's interesting is you take a show like Mad Men, uh, but you know that the be the end of the show, nothing's really going to be any different <laughs> than at the beginning. There really isn't. At the, be the first episode of Mad Men, Don Draper uh, is a New York ad man who's really unhappy in his marriage, and he's he's got a big hole in his soul. What's the last final scene of of Don Draper and Mad Men episode? He's going to go back and be a New York ad man. He's a seducer of women, untroubled with his relationship with women. And he's got a big hole in his soul, <laughs> right? It, so it's not hard to know the ending of your TV show because it's going to be the same as your beginning. There's there's really no unless it's a mini series where like True Detective, where um, in season one where Rusty and Marty actually change incredibly because that's a movie. Basically, remember mini series are long movies. You're always just going to be in the same place. So yeah, knowing the ending is not hard. You're going to be in exactly the same place as you were at the beginning. Buffy the Vampire Slayer is still slaying vampires and still not happy about it at the end. Okay, Glover in Atlanta, his character, however long Atlanta goes, unless he just wants to say, screw you, I'm not going to do what you expect me to do, his character is still going to be bumping along feeling like a loser at the very end of Atlanta. Sneaky Pete, same thing. Sneaky Pete's still going to be conflicted about having a family versus being a con artist, uh, being alone versus being with his family. I don't care how many seasons you have. So it's not hard figuring out where your television show is going to go because it's going nowhere. 